YouTube, what's going on? We're going to hit you with another mock draft. We have this offseason starting with, let's say, some unhappy contracts. That is going to majorly affect this draft. We have some major QBs moving around, some rumors. We will see what happens here. But that being said... Let's get into this one. Two-Tone Sports here. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. 98% of you are not subscribed. I would appreciate it greatly. Showing love is free on YouTube. Let's get into it. This first overall pick, we are going to make a trade with Indianapolis Colts. Bears are giving up the first. Colts are giving up the fourth, the second. Next year's first. And wow, they're not interested at all, but guess what? They are. And they're gonna give up next year's third. Yeah. They're gonna force this trade. Okay. We have the Indianapolis Colts moving up to number one. The Colts are drafting. Will Levis. Will Levis is going number one. They're falling in love with him. they obsessed with him. Uh, I honestly think this could happen. I don't think they're going to have to move for him, but we'll see. Will Levis goes number one. He's got all the tangibles. He's got all the intangibles. Looked a little inconsistent. Um, I want to say his receivers screwed him over a little bit. Kentucky's offense was very pro-ready. Uh, I think that helps him out a lot. He's got the arm. Um... And that's a great system for him to go into. I know it's a haul to get him, but if they're sold on him, that's what they're going to do. We got the Texans on the clock. Bryce Young is going to go to the Texans. This kid has got everything and more, just doesn't have the size. He's got a touch pass. He's got a decent arm. I don't want to say he's got a cannon, but he can't. he's coming out of Alabama. The kid's shown he's a winner. Um, he's mobile. He's more mobile than you think. It. The question is, is how mobile do you want him to be at like right around 200 pounds? He's six foot, which is going to be an issue, especially with like a six six defensive lineman with his hands up. He's gonna get some balls batted down, but. Texans like him. He's going to go into that offense. Hopefully they get Mechie back. You got Damian Pierce in the backfield. Um, it's new. They're going to have a new coach. I like it. So here, the Cardinals can move. And realistically, they're not. I'm going to have... them trade I'm gonna have them trade with the Panthers they get the third they're giving up the first in two years they're gonna give up their second and they're gonna give up a 2023 20, second and they're gonna give up a fourth I was going to say, that better not be. We're going to force this trade. I missed the box. We're forcing this trade. The Panthers are moving up. Okay. Yeah, they gave up a decent haul. They got a good amount of picks for the McCaffrey trade. So the Carolina Panthers are moving up to take C.J. Stroud. They can't believe he's not off the board at three. Will Levis going number one. C.J. Stroud has got it all. I love his size. I love his speed. I genuinely think he's going to be the best QB in the draft. Um, I think he's definitely breaking that curse of the Ohio State QBs. I know Justin Fields kind of broke that, but I think C.J. is going to really break that. Uh, he's going into a pretty good offense. They're young. You got D.J. Moore. I mean, you have draft capital. I, I know we got rid of some of it, but you're still going to be okay. And this is what you're going to have to do to make a move for your for your franchise. I'm pretty sure you guys have a good cap room as well. So, I like it. Yeah, you gave up a lot, 
but you're going nine to three. You're gonna have to. All right. So Chicago's on the clock. They're freaking out. Chicago's getting Will Anderson at four. You guys are getting Will Anderson after getting a bag for draft picks and everything. So Will Anderson is scary good, very good speed. He's got to get a little bit more strength involved and a little bit more technique involved. But he's going to go there. He's going to be that edge rusher you guys are looking for since Khalil Mack. I'm not saying he's going to be a Khalil Mack. He's a little different than Khalil, to be honest. But I think it's a good pick. If you're going to scoop him up at four, you guys are going to scoop him up at one. You grab some draft capital, and here you are. It's what you need to do. Love it. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. If you're a Bears fan, that's your picture perfect draft. And we're going to move on to five in Seattle. Seattle is going to sit here. Now, QBs are off the board. You don't really need one. You guys are definitely going to bring back Geno. Um, you guys aren't even thinking about wide receiver this high. Guard and center, way too high. Um, I'm going to have you guys go in Jalen Carter at number five for the draft value. Also, you do need defensive line. But at pick five, Jalen Carter can easily go number one. Jalen Carter is an every down lineman. If he can get his conditioning right, he's got the skill set to be. He's mean. He was the best player on that Georgia defense. Arguably the past two years. He's going to come in and make a huge difference. And Seattle's going to be mean in the trenches. And I, I love that for you guys. Love that for you guys. Now we got the Detroit Lions on the clock. Now, this could be interesting. I know you don't really need this. I know you need corner. Corner's kind of deep. Edge is kind of deep. I don't have Brian Branch that high. But... We're going to grab Christian Gonzalez here. I like him over Devon Witherspoon to you guys. Christian Gonzalez is going to the Lions. You guys need some secondary help. Jeff Okuda is good, yes, but your offense, I'm not worried about it. I would not worry about it in either of your first two picks. Pretty good. Um, the only way I would think of moving it on from golf here is like, CJ Stroud is there. I don't think Bryce Young falls there. Or, honestly, Stroud. But you could see Will Levis at this pick. I would not move on from golf. At this point, this you got to go corner. I like Christian Gonzalez. He's the best corner in my eyes. He's going to be involved in every route that they run. I mean, he's going to be there. He's not really going to get burnt. He's a little over-aggressive. But he's got everything you want in your corner, and I love him. I really do. I love him. Perfect fit for your team. Raiders, all my previous mock drafts, I have you guys getting Aaron Rodgers. Devontae Adams keeps teasing it. You guys are going to have to give up a lot. So... I'm not going to do that. I want to see something real quick. Only Trey Lance, Brock Purdy. I'm going to do this. Okay, hear me out. We're not trading. I'm going to do this draft as if the Raiders get Garoppolo. So the Raiders are going to get Jimmy G. And with Jimmy G, you guys are going to go draft Peter Skaronsky. Now, the reason you're drafting Peter Skaronsky over Paris Johnson here is, yes, he could play tackle. But this kid, if you don't like him at tackle, he's going to be an all-pro guard. He has the honestly capability of being an all-pro tackle at the next level. Only thing that is in concern is his size. And guess what? If it doesn't work out, you're going to put him at guard and he'll be an all-pro guard. 
Skaronski is one of the best pass blockers. You're going to fill that QB need with Garoppolo. And who knows where Rodgers goes? That may come up soon. It may not. But Skaronski is an all-around lineman. You're not going to bring in anybody and fix anybody. Even Garoppolo, Rodgers, Brady. I, I don't care who you bring in if you have no offensive line. You need to do Skaronski. Raiders are getting Garoppolo. You're going to have Skaronski block for him. I love it. This is going to be Tyree Wilson to Atlanta. I have this in almost every mock draft. It's a match made in heaven. I love it. 6-6. Six, six. Atlanta needs some defensive line help. This kid is fast. He's bendy. He plays a little high, but he's everything you want. All the size, all the measurables, everything you're going to want in an end. In, in edge. So this is going to be their pick. We got an interesting one here. Carolina's moving back to nine. They're a little upset. Okay. Yeah, you need a JJ's replacement. You got a bag for this because CJ Stroud fell to three. Team wants to move up. So in that case, you guys are going to grab Miles Murphy. You're not that upset. If you're, Carolina, if you're a Cardinals fan, this is what you want. You traded back from three. You hope one of the QBs fall or somebody wants to make a jump. You go from three to nine, and this is what you want to see. You're going to have Miles Murphy. Realistically, if you're going nine, you're not going to see Carter or Anderson. But you can get Murphy. You may get Tyree Wilson. You're getting somebody that's going to replace JJ, and you're getting more draft capital. You can't complain. Um, honestly, you guys can even trade D Hop. We're going to do something interesting coming up. We're going to do something interesting. So, keep that in mind. Now we got the Eagles on the clock. Need receiver. They say you need receiver, guard, and center. Is Kelsey coming back? We don't know. If you win the Super Bowl, he could walk. Lane Johnson could walk. You never know. So... But that being said, we are going to go. Ooh, you need edge to. Is it deep with edge? Whatever. We're going to go Devon Witherspoon. Bradbury is a free agent. Uh, CJ Gardner Johnson is going to be up. Darius Slay is going to be up next year. Devon Witherspoon is arguably one of the best corners in this draft. It's. I have him now switching with Porter Jr., Christian Gonzalez, and Witherspoon. Um, I think it's something that your team's going to need. I think it's something you need to do. I love the pick. You need to get younger. You, you need to get cheaper. You guys are in the Super Bowl. You guys know what you're doing. Keep it up. Paris Johnson Jr. is going to go to Tennessee. So, you got Henry. You got Tannehill, but he was hurt. You got to keep him up. Paris Johnson Jr. is an absolute unit. On that line, he's big, he's mean. He's got to get a little more technical with his feet. But, he's he's the piece you need. I wouldn't worry about receiver yet. I wouldn't worry about edge yet. You're in no spot taking a QB at 11 if you want to get younger there. Um, like I said, this, this draft is deep with edge. Uh, you're, you're going to just go up at pick 11. You're going to have to get value here, and you're going to grab Paris Johnson. Great value. I'm going to set upset some of you Texans fans here, because guess what? Mm -mm. I may not upset some of you. You're going to give up pick 12. To get DeAndre Hopkins. Okay. And. You're going to get. Carolinas. Who they just traded. Nah. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do actual picks here. And you're going to get their second round pick. Okay. So. Houston, you're getting back DeAndre Hopkins. The Cardinals are getting the 12th pick and 
you're giving up the second round pick. So on the right, Houston's getting 34 and D hop Cardinals. You're getting 12. So now this is where things get interesting. Okay. You gave, you already traded back. You got capital. Now you traded back up. You got miles Murphy. Okay. Now down here, You're going to go, and you're going to take Quentin Johnston. Do you need a receiver? No, but you just dumped off D-Hop, moved up to 12. You gave up a second-round pick, but you're getting younger at receiver. You're going to – we need to see more consistency out of Kyler. He needs to stay healthy. You're moving back up in the first. You got rid of a second. You got some capital, but you're getting Quentin Johnston. And to be honest, he could replace D-Hop. He's not as good as a route runner. He's got the speed. He's got the size. I like it. It's an immediate replacement. He literally just swapped and got younger. I like it. Here we are with the Jets. We're going to make a crazy, crazy trade here. So the Jets are rumored to try to bring in Carr. But I think they're going to make a hell of a splash. Okay? Here's what you're going to see. Lamar Jackson is going to get traded to New York. Okay? There was reports coming out that Lamar Jackson and the Ravens are about a hundred million dollars in difference in contract talks. That is huge. That is absurd. I don't know if I ever heard of such a gap, to be honest. If so, Lamar's gonna get franchise tagged. And Lamar's not gonna play. Lamar's not gonna play for them. You're going to give up a bag for Lamar, Jets fans. Okay? So Lamar is going to New York. We don't need to install any updates. Lamar is going to New York. And now the Ravens move up to 13. Insane for the Ravens. You're upset Jackson's leaving. You have 13. You have 22. What do we do? I'm going to show you. Okay? And I like this. So, at 13, you're going to grab somebody. A little bit of reach, some people may say. He's very similar to Lamar. You guys are grabbing Anthony Richardson athletically he's there he's not as fast as Lamar and everything he's not as good as a thrower as Lamar okay you're gonna grab Anthony Richardson you just got younger at QB you just got a freaking bag from the Jets you guys are disgruntled he's been hurt you're not gonna agree in a contract he's not gonna agree to a franchise to play on a franchise tag there you go Anthony Richardson you just need to develop his Throwing traits, his athletic ability is there. You can't teach that. But if you could teach his footwork, his throwing motion, pretty much everything to do with the natural QB position, you could have one of the best developments, highest ceilings in the draft. Cool to watch. Would be really cool to watch. All right. Now we got the New England Patriots. Um, I'm going to have the Patriots taking Jordan Addison. Jordan Addison's go there, crazy route runner, very good, very skilled, very good hands, crazy speed. You're going to have to give Mac Jones some more weapons. That's going to do it. That's going to give Mac Jones the weapons. And yeah, Green Bay, 
I'm going to say this has all been smoke and mirrors. I'm going to say Rodgers is going to play there. I'm going to do this mock draft as if Rodgers is there. So, to be honest, whether he's there or not, I think you guys are going to go Michael Mayer. Michael Mayer, tight end, Jordan Love, Aaron Rodgers, doesn't matter. This is an upgrade from Tonyan. Um, people need to respect Mercedes Lewis. They won't say his name. I don't know why. Big body, great hands. Needs a little bit more length, but he knows how to box out. And for that, I love him. I really do. I love, I love this kid. I couldn't find him here. I am going to have... Okay, unless I'm blind, I couldn't find his name. I'm going to have Cam Smith go into the Washington Commanders. You guys need help in your secondary. You need to bring your defense back to what it was. Your defensive line, we'll see what they can do. Your offense seems pretty good. You got Dotson. You got McLaurin. I mean, you got Brian Robinson. You're not going QB. Not at 16. It would be a total reach. It's just not happening. I love it. This, this Cam Smith is going to be a great man receiver. You're going to have to bring him in there. It's a move to make. You guys are going to be playing the Cowboys and the Giants and the Eagles. You're going to have to have you're you're going to have to have uh, some solid corners. Eagles are going to take Broderick Jones. Broderick Jones is an absolute monster. He's huge. Um. Majority of these uh, tackles are. But they're going to need somebody mean. They're going to need somebody to, to be mean in the trenches. That's exactly what's going to happen in Pittsburgh. You're going to have to have Kenny Pickett develop. Najee Harris had a slow start, picked it up. you got to keep everybody healthy, and the only way to do that, you got to draft line. So now we're on the clock with Detroit. We're going to scroll back up here. You guys went Christian Gonzalez. And now you guys are going to get not the biggest need. I know you need linebacker, but you guys are going to grab Lucas Van Ness. Lucas Van Ness is going to play on the opposite side of Aiden Hutchinson. I love this pick. He's got a high motor. Van Ness reminds me of um, Hutchinson a little bit. So with that being said, I love him. you got to watch this kid's tape out of Iowa. People don't give Iowa enough credit. they got a good tight end there as well. But Lucas Van Ness is really going to solidify the front of that defense. And now you got a corner. Now you got an edge. If you want a linebacker, you should have a good one there in the second and third round. I like Henry Toatoa. We don't know where Noah Sewell is going to go. He could be there early for you in the second round. I like it. Now we got the Bucks. This one's rough. Because Brady retired. No, he's not coming back. He's... In on that, what do you call it, deal? He's in on that broadcasting deal. What do you guys do? Mm, I'm going to sit here and say, Hendon Hooker is going to show out. When he's finally ready, when he finally is going to move around in his training camp, blah, 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 he's going to show out. I get he's 25. I get he tore his ACL. Hendon Hooker's going to you guys at 19. I don't care. You need a QB in the worst way. Have him there. I think he can start day one. I love him. You guys are going to have to go deep and in, in line the rest of this draft. So, Hendon Hooker, he's got a great deep ball. He's kind of mobile before the ACL injury. So, I I, I just I just think it's necessary. It's, it's what you guys are going to have to do. Now we have Seattle up. You guys went Jalen Carter with your first pick. What are we going to do here? I've been seeing these rumors constantly. We're going to have Jackson Smith and the Jigba go there. All right, you guys are going to get younger at receiver. Give Geno more weapons. He's going to be there with Metcalf and Lockett. You got Noah Fan at tight end. You guys got your defensive lineman of the future. Now you got your wide receiver of the future. Love this kid coming out of Ohio State. 
Uh, I think he's getting a little disrespected, to be honest. Even a little disrespected by me. I do apologize. But I think that's a great look for Seattle. Get younger. Here we are with the Chargers. My Chargers. We got a little bit of a cap issue. Keenan Allen could be an issue for the future. Uh, they're talking about Everett may be an issue for the future. Bosa and Bosa's really got to restructure. What are we doing at linebackers? Tranquil coming back. I'm going to say with Kellen at the OC, they're going to take Zay Flowers. Zay Flowers is a small, speedy guy. You get the ball in his hands, he's all over the place. He's going to make people miss. He doesn't have the size. I want to say he's like under six foot. Ooh, this kid's a burner, and this is exactly what they need. I think Jalen Guyton's up. Herbert's got a cannon. Let him release it. Let him release it. All right. So now we're sitting here. Anthony Richardson went to the Ravens in a trade for Lamar Jackson. Now guess what we need to do? We need to get this kid another target. So what are we doing with that? Why not get him another target who's got crazy speed? He's going to stretch the field. We saw what he could do with a mobile QB. We got Jalen Hyatt going to the Ravens. Anthony Richardson should be able to keep a play going. He's got a big arm. Maximize that offense. That's the pick you're doing. Love it, love it, love it. You just turned... Now you do a play action because you love the run, and Jalen's going to be burning down the field. Burning. All right. Now we got the Vikings. You guys are losing your mind. Joey Porter Jr. is still on the board for you guys. This kid's going to play all over the field. He's aggressive. He could tackle. He play the ball. Going to learn a lot from his father if he already hasn't. We already know he has. But he's going to learn even more from his father. Um, something about that NFL pedigree. And you guys need help in your secondary. Pat Pete was not it. I say it every video. Great pick. Love this. Um, now we got the Jacksonville Jaguars. You guys are going to take Osiris Torrance. To make sure my mic was on. You guys are going to take Osiris Torrance. Trevor Lawrence looks ridiculous for a 23-year-old QB. You guys already made it to the playoffs. You broke history coming back on my Chargers. It was really hard. Um, yeah. I'm going to leave that game at that. T-Law looks good. Your offense looks good. You invested in the receivers. You got Ridley. Give him time. Keep him up. Keep him healthy. This kid's going to take you places. Osiris Torrance, best guard in the draft if Skaronsky doesn't get kicked in. But natural guard, natural guard, Osiris is it. Osiris is it. Love this pick for you guys. You guys have a good defense. Defensive back's a little deep. Guard really isn't. There's a hell of a drop-off from Osiris Torrance. And Skaronsky if you view him as a guard. All right. Now we got, I don't think Giants need a tight end. They have that Bellinger kid who I like. I am a New Jersey, New Jersey native, so uh, I've seen a lot of games, been to a lot of games. I like this for them. So with that being said, the Giants are going to take Josh Downs. I think Josh Downs is also a little underrated. Yeah, you guys can view this as a little bit of a reach. He's got good speed. He's got good hands. He's got good route running. Um, you got to give Dimes, you got to give Danny Dimes some uh, some people to throw to, and 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 this is it. This is this is what you need to do. So, moving on to the Cowboys. Who does the Cowboys mostly want? Porter's off. Addison's off. Smith is off. I agree with that fourth one. The Cowboys are going to take, you guys love taking linebackers. So, where is he? The Cowboys are going to take Trenton Simpson. Trenton Simpson's awesome. I love this kid. He needs to put on a little bit more size, meaning weight. He's got the speed. He's got the play recognition. He could drop in coverage. You're going to need him to be playing against the Eagles and the Giants and even the, and even the Commanders. Um, he, he, you're going to have to upgrade the linebacker position. Vander Esch played pretty well, but mm, 
I think at this point there's I would like to go receiver for you guys, but there's way too many receivers off the board. To go at 26, it's going to be a reach. Trenton Simpson's not a reach. I think you guys got great value on Trenton Simpson here. You could go Brian Brees here, but that's what we're doing. Bills are taking Brian Branch. No easy, easy pick for me. Don't know what's happening with Poyer. Um, you got picked apart. Your defensive line got picked apart. Your secondary got picked apart in that. You guys are going to make the playoffs. It's just secondary constantly. Brian Branch could play slot corner. He could play safety over top. This kid's a utility player. He can play that ball nice. This is what needs to happen. This is by far what needs to happen. You guys are constantly bangles, 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 bangles. You guys are constantly taking and upgrading that line. You guys are going to continue to do it. Anton Harrison, I know you're overloaded at that position. Who cares? Who cares? cares keep burrow up keep burrow healthy it's the only way you guys are consistently losing deep in these playoffs you don't have the depth yes injuries suck anton harrison is a very good very good pass blocking lineman you need to do it you need to do it please like honestly please do it how the hell do they have C.J. Stroud, 15% to the Saints. This has to be trades with... That has to be trades with the Broncos. Like, first pick. Interesting. I don't see how they got... How they get Stroud or Young. Uh, I agree with that other name down there, though. He's actually right here. I have the Saints maybe doing a little reach on Tanner McKee. It's the end of the first round. You guys don't really have draft capital. You're going to have to build uh, that QB. You're going to have to build that offense. Um, Tanner McKee, he looks good. He looks good out of Stanford. He needs to be a little more consistent. Uh, he's got a nice arm. Um, but you guys are kind of desperate at QB. It's kind of the hole you got. I mean, I don't think Winston's that good. I don't. I mean, Taysom Hill is not a year-round QB. It's just a need that the franchise needs to make and see if he's got it and build around him. Because if he, the only reason you're here is because of a coach that decided to come back. So take take the reach a little bit. Take the reach. Um, at this pick, we're gonna go. Brian Briefs. I know they don't really need interior. I really want to see what you guys Chiefs fans got to say. Yeah. I mean, you you could use interior. We're going to take Brian Briefs there, and that's going to suck. Him with Chris Jones together is going to be ridiculous. You guys hit. You guys just hit the draft by doing that right there. That's great value. Brian Briefs going in the first, at the end of the first, pick 30 to you guys. It's really going to beef up that line. Uh, he's got a pass rush. He's just got to stay healthy. But him and Jones on that line is going to be crazy, and I'm not happy about it as a Chargers fan. Good value. Really, really good value. Uh, we got the Eagles. We're going to sit here. The Eagles took, to recap, the Eagles took Devon Witherspoon, corner. I think at 31... We're looking at who's on the board, and we are going to go. Hmm, that could be an interesting pick. You know, we're gonna mix this up. We're gonna absolutely mix this up, and I'm going Drew Sanders. Drew Sanders is that dude that could put his hand in the dirt. He could play outside. He's gonna be a utility player, but dude, this kid's got a motor. Look him up. I love him. I. Love him. I just recently been starting watching tape on him. I think he's a great fit for your team. You guys have an older defensive line. You're going to have to get younger. He can be that. He can be that dude. Oh, man. He just That that defensive line is still going to be nasty with him. You know, you got um, Graham and Quinn up. You need to do it. You guys just filled a corner and defensive line position who can also stand up and play a little linebacker with 
first round picks, and you guys are in the Super Bowl. I mean, damn, what a team. So we're going to do a little recap here. I mean, the big one here is, where is he? Pick 13, the Jets are going to get Lamar. The Ravens are picking up Richardson. The, Ra the Ravens in the back end are also getting Jalen Hyatt to just do athletic. I mean, Richardson's going to extend a play. Jalen Hyatt's going to be all over the place with that speed. Um, I love it. We got D-Hop. We got D Hop going back to the Texans. I love that. I could see it. There's been a little rumors about it. There's been a little rumors about Carol um Cardinals not really that happy. So you guys are gonna grab Quentin Johnston to replace D Hop. My Chargers are getting say Flowers. Hendon Hookers going to the Bucks. I mean, this is a pretty interesting draft. We got Brian Brees falling. Um Pretty interesting draft here. This one's kind of crazy now that I think about it. I like it, though. I like it. Rogers staying put. So, with that being said, two-tone sports here. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you guys watch it all the way through. With that being said, hope you guys have some fun. And let's ride this all the way to, to draft day. We're going to do a review of all these drafts and see how we done a, how we did on draft day. So, thanks for watching.